bet you recognize that song. Uh, I couldn't resist. It's Bob Dylan um, did the more the original song version because he wrote it. But when Jimi Hendrix did uh, All on the Watchtower, I think it cracked the world right open. I mean, I remember the first time I heard that lead with the, I saw like mountains, you know, castles in the mist, man. I was like, two writers were approaching. What a great song. But I'm just going to give you, I'm going to actually give you a taste of both Hendrix and Dylan on this. Why not? So to do, to do it simply, it's just... <laughs> It's just A minor, G, F. Now, if you have trouble with F, a lot of people do, they call it the ouch chord. You can do it this way, with your thumb over the top, or you can do it barred, or you can just do a small version like this. That's easier. So it's just like a C, but you move everything, you move these two fingers down one, and then bend that in here. I'm sorry to say there's no real easy way to do an F chord, but it's one you're going to need to learn sooner or later. Why not now? So anyway, the Bob Dylan version is just more of a straight. It's more of a spoken word. There's too much confusion. I can't get no relief. Businessman, you drink my wine. So that's pretty straightforward. A minor, G, F, G, A minor. Okay, now the Hendrix version, <laughs> of course, same chords, but done reimagined in quite a different way. This one, he starts with the G and he pumps it. So I wanted to show you that just so you have it in case you're a Hendrix fan, and basically who isn't. Um, 